Welcome back everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I will be reviewing... <laughs> we will be reviewing a trail running shoe and it's the On Running Cloud Venture Trail Runner. So let's let's get into it. It's it is a as I just said a trail running shoe. The brand is called On Running. I'm don't know if everybody is familiar with this brand. I think it's it's a pretty new brand. It's a Swiss brand and they are very proud of it. Uh, which is very Swiss and it's a great shoe. It's a crazy looking shoe. Let's get into it, okay? And the shoe is already tried on. I've already had a few runs in them and I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna show you a little bit what the shoe looks like, how it's made of, and then I'm gonna talk about my sensations. In the end, I will tell you if I'm happy with the shoe or not, what are the upsides of the shoe, what are the downsides, and let's get into it. So, uh, the shoe comes in this black box with on branding all over it, and in the inside it is full of clouds. So they call, uh, on they call this technology, they have in all of the shoes the cloud stack technology, so it makes a lot of sense that it comes with this beautiful printing on the inside, which is the clouds. Love it, it comes with just a regular tissue paper with the on branding all over it. And in this case, it came with this uh, weird looking card inside, which the card is not weird looking, but just this, just hard to get out. Okay, it's glued to the card. Ah. To the spot. okay. There we got, and it says, Dear Runner, join our, join, join our active community of athletes and casual runners. As a former pro athlete and coach, I strive to bring you the very best running experience from athletes for athletes. Join today and share your first impression with the community. Oliver Berman, co-founder and developer. I think, don't get me right, but I, I'm pretty sure that, uh, okay, my dog and my cat are playing, sorry for that. Um, Oliver Bernard was one of the founders of, of ON, uh, used to be a, a runner and uh, I think a professional runner, professional athlete. So they bring all of that knowledge he has and, and his team and his, his both friends have uh, to developing a shoe. It's not my first pair of ons. I, I had another pair which was the um, cloud, the regular cloud, which which is just a regular running uh, and running a casual trainer i think they advertised it in the beginning as a, as a as a running sneaker but they have been developing more and more and more uh, so i think right now that that's just their casual shoe it is a great shoe by the way i, I run in it as well run, once or twice and, and it worked well so uh, i'm recently getting a lot into trail running so i wanted to try this shoe out it's more on the expensive side I, it's 159 euro i know how much it is in, in us dollar but probably around 160 as well so 160 euro and now i have an owner card which i already had but let me keep it in there and let's get straight into the shoe i talk way too much so um about the shoe i doubted a little bit of getting the shoe or not was a good idea. I, I I was surfing the on running website for some time. Here you can see they got lots of information, lots of comments. Uh, all the comments on the website are great, like wow, amazing shoe, amazing cushioning. I saw some other reviews on YouTube and th there were all types of reviews. But uh, I think I have a different opinion than, than, than everyone else. So let's start with the looks and the, and the materials of the shoe. The shoe is pretty well built, honestly, like the materials look very, very good. Uh, it, 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 it is high quality shoe, definitely. Definitely, definitely high quality shoe. The only downside for me on the quality of the shoe is maybe the laces. The laces are very thin, I don't know why they are that thin, but it, it, it's hard to lace them sometimes. But that's the only thing. They have the lace strap to put your laces inside. So no problem. The material, this mesh is pretty breathable. Amazing. Uh, the inside, it comes with this comfortable insole. It used to have a message inside, which I sort of forgot. 
uh, because I've been wearing them as I said. But I think it said something like, uh, I reach places, I just saw a picture on the website, I reach places others cannot. Um, in this side, it, it, it went away like after the first run and it, it sort of vanished from there. But uh, overall construction quality is amazing. The inside, very good as well with this uh, sock liner type of, of inside. You just have a little bit of openness in here. Uh, Swiss engineering, branding all over the shoe, which looks amazing. Well, not all over the shoe, shoe just on the top, on in the right side of the shoe. And yeah, pretty solid, honestly. Once you put your feet inside, they, they are crazy comfortable. Okay, sorry, my sausage dog wants to say hello. Hard to film with so many animals, but it's okay. No, I just have a cat and a dog, but welcome, welcome and see the shoes. So, overall, great looking shoe, like great feeling shoe, great materials. It, they are good, like they, honestly they are good, well done for trail running, I think this will get a lot of kilometers or miles on them. Then they have this mud guard or, 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 or foot guard, I don't know how to, how to explain it, which is this like more fused plastic, I don't know if it's a plastic, but it's a fused material, it's sort of like a neoprene touch to it. Oh, sorry, something happened, working. Now. Uh, let's get into the real part of the shoe, the cloud tech technology. This cloud tech technology is weird in the beginning. So it, it feels a little hard in the beginning. It's not like a very cushy shoe in the beginning. So I, I've done three runs in those. One was a five kilometer run. Uh, the other one was a seven kilometer run. And the last one was a 12 kilometer run. They still look like new so that's good and the thing about the technology like after my first run because when you see it on the website everybody says it's it's cushy for me after the first run it was absolutely not cushy it, it was i'm used to nike react or boosts or different like more cushy outsoles this one wasn't in the first run so after my first run i, I was sort of not happy with the shoe, I, I want to be honest. It, it was just a 5k run, so it just really casual. I wasn't running fast. Like the shoe was crazy, crazy comfortable, but I didn't like the pot technology, I didn't like the outsole. I was, I had seen a lot of videos on the shoe before, so I was really scared because I run a lot on gravel and, and, and I was scared that this would get full of, of stones and, and it got a little bit, I, I have to say. But that was not really turning me down. What was turning me down in the shoe was that it, it, it's hard. It, it, it was, you can listen to it. My wife will kill me. It's hard. So uh, after the first one I run, I was not super happy, but then I decided to go for another run. Uh, I did, I had the 7K run. Uh, and they felt better, and they, they, they really did, they felt a little bit more cushy, I, I liked them a little bit more. And then, uh, two days after, after the second run, I went for another run, it was a 12k run, and they felt very good. They, they still are a little clunky, so when you walk on, on hard surfaces, like when you work on, on, on pavement, when you run on pavement, it's not that comfortable because you can really hear the shoe, but on like uh, sand roads or really on the mountain on trail it felt great i have to say so pretty happy with that pretty happy with the shoe in in general after after trying it for a few days they have something on the outsole which i want to talk about which is first of all the grip the grip is great they, it, it really grips look at this it has 20k on them and no sign of wear which is great and it has this speed board, which is very interesting for trails. It's, it's this harder part here on the on the um, on the sole of the, of the shoe. I think the whole sole is the speed board. And the fun thing about it is when you step, it really pushes you forward. Did you see this? So this is what the shoe does. That's pretty cool, honestly. And then I like that. It's like a carbon fiber plate on this more street running shoes or like this more like professional running shoes, but different, good, I love it, shoes lightweight, and then only, 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 only 
but it's it's not a downside for me but but maybe it could be a downside for for some people is the looks it it, it doesn't look like a running shoe it's uh it's, it's sort of crazy because it is a great running shoe it, it looks more like, like a mountain walking shoe or a sunday walking shoe when you walk with the old thick uh, wool socks and, and your leather hose and, and just walk out of the uh, to the mountains in switzerland but i sort of like it it looks different it, it, it's a weird shoe this colorway this is a shadow rock colorway which fits to the name I don't know guys, I, I, I really recommend to try this shoe because it, it, it surprised me. I, I decided to buy it regardless of the, the, the bad or, or good reviews I saw. But my personal opinion is weird looking shoe, mm, performs good, a little hard in the beginning, but after a few runs it's amazing. It's not super soft, but it works. For me, it's not a transition shoe. Uh, if I run on the, with these shoes on pavement, I'm not happy. I really prefer to just run on sand uh, or on, on really trails, which is good. Laces could be a little bit thicker and a bit better, but overall the shoe is good. I, I like it. I, I honestly, I like it. Not too bad to say about it. And about the price, it's 160 For me, it's a little expensive, 160 for the shoe. You can feel the quality, but I think On has still some things to work on the outsole, especially on a trail running shoe. Um, I think they've still got some way to go. But uh, on one out of ten, one one to ten, what would be my grade for this shoe? I would probably give this an eight, an eight out of ten, because it works. And one last thing, because before shutting down the video the sizing it's perfect it's i'm a size nine regularly on running shoes and sometimes i have to size up for example with nike i have to go for a nine and a half sometimes even a ten with this shoe size nine perfect i still have a little bit of space on the front of the shoe amazed amazed by the shoe yeah eight on the ten thank you for watching guys uh, sorry for not posting a video in such a long time but I will try to be uh, more frequent of a video maker. So thank you guys. Uh, wish you all to stay safe during this crazy COVID times. And thank you for watching.